Hello and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this channel, when I was uh, uploading different videos about MuleSoft, the way you use MuleSoft as an integration platform and how it uh, helps you and your organization in achieving your desired goals for integrating different types of systems, how its API first approach helps you to meet your needs for the APIs that are implemented as per the best practices. Many of the people, especially uh, the subscribers from this channel, were asking me that if they are already in some integration technology or even if they are not into the integration, if they want to pursue their career as a MuleSoft professional, be it MuleSoft developer, MuleSoft architect, or in any other role uh, in terms of the technology, if they use MuleSoft, how is this for the future? And they also ask a question that if they want to become a MuleSoft professional or a MuleSoft expert, then what are the steps that they need to follow? So I will try to create a series of videos uh, where I will be discussing these things uh, in detail. Today in this video, we will be talking about uh, uh, being a MuleSoft professional, how uh, is the future, how I foresee the future of a MuleSoft professional, and what are the major high level steps that you need to perform or you need to follow if you want to uh, pr proceed with the journey of uh, MuleSoft uh, as your professional career path. The first question that comes into the minds of uh, the people uh, when they are asked to look into MuleSoft as a career path, they ask why MuleSoft? What is so good in MuleSoft that they should think of uh, switching to MuleSoft? Or they should start their journey with the MuleSoft. The very first thing about MuleSoft is that uh, it is one of the most popular integration platforms with the rich set of features. If we talk about integration in general with ESPs and uh, different type of uh, open source as well as uh, off-the-shelf products, uh, proprietary products, there are a lot of leading companies uh, and uh, they are uh, having a lot of uh, market penetration their products are doing quite good. So if we talk about some of the biggest companies or some of the best uh, uh, integration platforms, undoubtedly MuleSoft is part of that. This uh, particular product from MuleSoft, uh, which is, uh, uh, is integration platform as a service, uh, it provides you all the rich features that you need uh, in order to implement your complete integration uh, layer or integration platform. It provides you options uh, for all the things that you need uh, from the design to the development to the deployment to the management to the monitoring and analytics uh, and monetization. So in complete API lifecycle, uh, you can use uh, MuleSoft uh, AnyPoint platform. And also it provides you uh, tons of other options. And on top of that, just like some other big companies, MuleSoft is also having a very good support model. So you can, if you face any problems, uh, you can always reach to the MuleSoft professionals if you have subscribed to their, uh, their, their support uh, program. So they are very much cooperative and if you face any issues and also if there are any security related features or updates that need to be done. So all these things will be taken care of by MuleSoft. And if you go with their cloud uh, solutions, in that case, uh, you uh, as an organization don't need to worry about all the infrastructure level things. The infrastructure will be managed by MuleSoft itself and you will be just uh, using their infrastructure and you will be using their integration platform as a service. And uh, the good thing is that uh, uh, MuleSoft uh, integration platform continuously keeps on updating and evolving itself with the latest cutting edge technologies as an example, if we talk about uh, open API specification support, uh, I have seen the journey uh, in, in case of MuleSoft that it has started supporting open API specification, the latest versions. And even before that, if we talk about RAML and other important things, uh, everything that is important and that needs to be done as per the requirements uh, of the latest uh, cutting edge technologies which are available in the market, MuleSoft is evolving, MuleSoft is providing support. And even if you see uh, in the MuleSoft uh, AnyPoint Exchange, you will see that you have tons of available connectors that you can use to connect to different type of applications, be it proprietary applications or be it any type of other important application. For example, if you have to connect to Siebel CRM, if you have to connect to MongoDB, if you have to connect to uh, SAP, if you have to connect to some other application, even to the social application like Facebook or Twitter, all these type of things can be done quite uh, conveniently using the available connectors that are provided by MuleSoft.
So in terms of features, uh, I found uh, MuleSoft uh, integration platform as a very uh, feature rich uh, product where you have uh, plenty of options. If you want to do the development, uh, you have the option to use AnyPoint Studio, which is an Eclipse based studio. But if you want to do the designing directly in the cloud platform, they have a design center there. Also, you can do the basic uh, designing of your flows. And other than that, uh, they had the, the other options that are available in the AnyPoint Exchange and AnyPoint uh, platform in general for the monitoring, for the runtime management, uh, and uh, various other things, that's quite rich in terms of its feature. Of course, I cannot go into the nitty gritties in this video, but I have other videos there you can explore and you can find that what are the features and how you can use those features. The next good thing about MuleSoft is that it is uh, used in the giants and growing its uh, it's continuously growing its market share. Whenever you switch to any technology or any product or any specific tooling, you just uh, need to make sure that it is being used heavily in the market so that you have enough demand uh, as a skillful resource for that technology. And if you talk about MuleSoft or even if we talk in general about some of the big companies which are there in the, as an integration platform, be it MuleSoft, be it TIPCO, be it IBM, uh, all of these uh, are being used normally by the big companies. So when uh, such an application or such tools or such platforms are used by big companies, then automatically uh, you need to understand that it means the scope that you have and the kind of uh, perks that you are going to have is also going to be better than uh, the, those type of technologies which are used at a very micro level. And if we see the job market, that's another plus point for the MuleSoft and for the MuleSoft professional that uh, uh, the demand in the market is continuously growing and MuleSoft professionals are very high in demand in the, com in the market. You won't find uh, too much competition if you are a good and skillful and experienced uh, MuleSoft uh, professional, be it MuleSoft developer, architect, or in any other uh, level uh, as, as a MuleSoft professional. You will see that uh, the demand is quite high worldwide. And uh, when demand is high and the supply is less, means the uh, number of resources available in the market as MuleSoft professionals, as a good MuleSoft professional is less than the perks that are uh, offered to good professionals, it also becomes quite uh, interesting and uh, increasingly high. So a good uh, example to compare how much uh, the market is for MuleSoft developer, a simple practice that you can do is that you just go to the LinkedIn and search for uh, MuleSoft jobs and then search for the jobs for other integration technologies and even for other uh, general technologies. You will see that uh, the number of jobs that are offered for MuleSoft are way higher than the other technologies. So that's a good a simple litmus test uh, through which you can understand that how much market is attracting mules of professionals. Now the question rises that if you want to become a mules of professional or you want to become a mules of expert, then what is the path you need to follow? In this case, there are two options. The first is the case that uh, a person is already in the integration domain. Maybe you are already working as an integration developer uh, with some other technology like TIPCO Businessworks or maybe with IBM Integration Bus or maybe you are working with Oracle SOA or maybe you are working with uh, Microsoft BizTalk or maybe you are working with WSO2 Integrator. It can be any of the integration technology where you are working in. So if you are already in integration, it means you already know the basics uh, of integration. You know how to integrate different applications. You know about uh, different design patterns that are followed. You know about uh, SOA technology concepts. You know about microservices architecture. So in that case, uh, the path becomes a bit easier for you to switch from one tool or one technology to another. So the path you can follow is that uh, the first thing that I will highly recommend is the training courses which are offered by MuleSoft officially. If you go to training.mulesoft.com, you will find that there are a lot of courses offered. Some of them you have to pay and also there are some uh, self-paced programs also there where you don't need to pay anything. You just need to practice there. You just need to do uh, complete your training course. And on top of that, uh, in some of the cases, uh, once you complete that training course, MuleSoft gives you uh, some voucher or some uh, free uh, option to go for the certification exam as well. So that's a bonus thing uh, that you get so, so you can understand from this how beautiful this world is that uh, uh, if, if you want to jump into the integration platform like MuleSoft, you are not only provided an option to learn everything free of cost using those self-paced programs, but also you are being 
awarded or you are being rewarded with an added option to go for the certification exam also without paying anything. So that's the brilliant thing that Mulesoft is offering and attracting the resources and attracting the professionals to uh, jump into this technology. The second thing, of course, is the official documentation that is provided by Mulesoft. Uh, I found the documentation quite rich in terms of its uh, uh, content that has been provided. So if you read the official documentation and in parallel to that, you do the practice, you do the training, then it's very convenient and very easy for you and you will be un uh, understanding the concept quite uh, easily. The third thing is that if you want to, uh, to explore it in a different way, you, you will find that there are plenty of videos on YouTube on different channels, including some of the videos on my channel. And those videos should also help you to understand uh, how uh, Mulesoft technology works, what are the components there and how to use those components and how you can create your own applications, how you can follow the API lifecycle and how you can design, develop, deploy, monitor, test, and even uh, how to analyze and how to monetize all these things. So on not only YouTube, also I see that uh, there are some courses offered by different uh, views of professionals on Udemy and other uh, such related uh, platforms. So that's another option that you can explore. Then an, a nor normal thing for any technology that you want to learn, remember that just by watching the videos uh, created by others and just right reading the documentation is not enough to become a professional or to become an expert. You need to practice and you need to do more practice. More practice will uh, make you to understand things more from the practical sense and uh, there you will come across different issues and the journey uh, with a lot of uh, ups and downs will help you to understand all the nitty gritties and you will understand all of the issues that you might face uh, and that will help you to understand things in a more better way. And last but not least, uh, the most important thing is in any technology that you need to get some practical experience unless you get a practical ex experience in some uh, professional project which is a production ready project uh, which is going to be in the production which deals with the real business scenarios, you won't be able to uh, understand things in a better way just by having some demo projects or just going through the simple DIY exercises. So try to find uh, some way uh, in your organization that uh, you may get involved into the actual practical experience through the pro working on the projects by getting your hands dirty in the real work and that journey will lead towards the professional certification. So once you get professional certifications uh, after your practical experience, then you will have more grip onto the concepts and you will know uh, how to go ahead with other uh, high level certification exams. For example, there are there is an exam for uh, Mulesoft uh, level one professional, uh, level one developer. So once you complete that, then you, you will not uh, just end on that. You will see that there are a lot of other options that you can explore based on that and on top of that, so in that way, you will continue to polish your skills and learn more and more things to become a truly Mulesoft expert professional. Now, the second case is for those people who are completely new to integration. This applies to those people who are new to the industry. For example, the fresh graduates who are joining the companies and they are asked to join the Mulesoft area uh, as the future path are those who are already working in some other technologies like maybe in some core programming like in java in dot net or in some other tools maybe and they are being asked to jump into the integration through the mulesoft so in this case of course the first important thing that you need to do is that you need to un have a basic understanding of all ei so i esp concepts you need to understand how applications are integrated what are the kind of technologies being used for integrating applications what are the protocols being followed? What are the design patterns that are being followed? What are the best practices for integrating different type of applications? What are the challenges that are being faced for integration of the application in a heterogeneous environment? And also you need to have understanding of service-oriented architecture. What is service-oriented architecture? What are the key components of a service-oriented architecture? What are the principles of service-oriented architecture? And how service-oriented architecture can be augmented and how it can be better utilized for your integration projects. And then you should have some knowledge of how enterprise service bus works, how it's important. And you should have a comparative understanding of point-to-point uh, -point communication, a hub, and, hub and spoke model, or different type of other uh, integration technologies are all related technology. What kind of messaging platform can be used? What kind of 
um, the subscription mechanism can be used. So a lot of other related and correlated concepts and technologies and, and stuff you need to understand before you jump into the real implementation with any of the integration tool like MuleSoft or be it Tipco, be it uh, any other integration platform. And another important thing is that uh, if you go with this type of tools like uh, MuleSoft, uh, they are fourth generation tools where you need to, you don't need to code everything. You have drag and drop options to complete your flows. But despite that, you still need to have basic understanding of object oriented programming concepts. You need to have understanding of some programming language. And if you talk about uh, MuleSoft, then it's always recommended that you do have understanding of Java, how Java programming works. And then you should have understanding of uh, some of the basic stuff like how XML and how J uh, JSON works how the doc data is structured uh, in JSON files, uh, in the XML files, and how to traverse those. And in case of XML, you should know something, some concepts about XPath. And if you are talking about JSON, then you should know how um, objects are interlinked and how objects are nested within the, in the JSON, how to traverse those and stuff like that. So on, once you have all these concepts, then you need to follow the same path that I mentioned already. Uh, to do the trainings, to read the documentation, to watch the videos, to practice and to go over the practical experience and then go for the professional uh, examination as a certified MuleSoft professional or MuleSoft expert. So that's it from this video where I try to be as simple as possible just to explain the basic path that you need to follow. And if you like this video, then uh, just uh, put your uh, feedback in the comment section. And I will try my best to have more videos where I go into the details of all these things uh, to make you understand that what are the steps that you need to follow, what is the path that you need to follow exactly. And if you want more uh, related to MuleSoft and other technologies, you can always uh, visit my website tutorialspedia.com where I have plenty of tutorials uh, around different integration technologies. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because this channel has uh, playlists uh, for different technologies, including MuleSoft, which will be really helpful for you if you are on a learning path for this. Thank you very much.